going to demonstrate how the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 179 from San Anselmo, California makes cooling scarves to send to the troops. This is the finished product, a long scarf. There are four pockets along the length of the scarf. Each pocket contains a small amount of water absorbing crystals. These are the crystals and they are available online from a company called Waterzorb. You want the medium sized crystals. To begin with, you need to purchase fabric that is 100% cotton between 42 and 44 inches wide. You can use plain tan, something that's lightly mottled, or desert camouflage. Just make sure that it is a 100% cotton. Cut the fabric into 4.5 inch wide strips from selvage to selvage. To begin the process, fold the fabric right sides together and then stitch across the short end and down the long end, leaving the other end open. You will end up with a tube like this. Now you need to turn the tube inside, right side out. There are various ways that you can do this, but by far the easiest is by using a piece of PVC pipe and a wooden dowel. Take the piece of PVC and insert it into the tube so that it's all the way down at the end. The wooden dowel, you'll see I have put a small chisel point on the end of the dowel. You want to take that end, put it into the tube, and push the scarf through. Out the other end, and voila, you have turned your tube right side out. Now you use the chisel point to poke out the corners so you have a nice square corner on the end. The next step is to iron this flat, like so. Now you need to determine the point at which you're going to sew the first cross stitch to begin making your pockets. To do that, take the strip fold it in half, then measure nine inches from the fold because they're going to be two four and a half inch pockets on each side of center. So if you come down nine inches from the fold and then measure from that point to the end of the scarf, it's going to be somewhere between 12 and 13 inches depending on how wide your fabric is. In our case it's 12 and a half inches. So now on every scarf that you're making from this fabric, once it's ironed flat, fold back 12 and a half inches from the closed end. Make sure you're measuring from the sewn shut end. Fold it back 12 and a half inches. There you go. And then press it with your iron so that it makes a crease. And the crease becomes the mark for where you stitch your first cross stitch. Now we're ready to begin adding the crystals. You can do that using the same piece of PVC that you use to turn the tube bright side out or you can get a little creative and hot glue a funnel to one end, put an angle on the other end which makes it easier to insert the pipe into the fabric. So you insert your pipe, make sure that it goes all the way down to the stitching you have to deliver the crystals all the way down to the stitched part or they will stick to the inside of the tube. You have your water sorb crystals and each pocket contains only one quarter teaspoon. Just one quarter teaspoon, not heaped, into the tube and there you go. The crystals are down there. So now you will sew another cross stitch four and a half inches away from the first one. Add more crystals, sew, add more crystals, sew until you have four pockets. Like so. So there's the closed end, four pockets with crystals in each one, and the open end. To finish the scarf, simply tuck in about half an inch at the open end, nice and square, and then stitch that across and your scarf is finished. From that point, what you do with it is up to you, but I'll show you how we package them. With each scarf, we include a Ziploc bag 
So the recipient of the scarf can use this to either soak the scarf by filling the bag with water and then putting the scarf in it, or they can use it to store their scarf. So take your scarf, fold it in half, take a Ziploc bag, just a sandwich sized Ziploc, fold it into quarters, lay it in the center, fold each end over. Then we also include directions, instructions for use that tell the, the user how long to soak it, etc., etc., and it tells them who made the scarf for them. You can print up something like this, a little piece of tape, fold it around the scarf, and it's finished.